This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. More details are being released about a new and rare disease found in children. Doctors believed it could be connected to the COVID-19. It's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome. It appears to be an autoimmune phenomenon that occurs following a COVID infection. That's our best understanding, said Dr. Rudolph Valenti, Chief Medical Officer at Children's Hospital of Michigan and DMC. Dr. Valenti says they've seen 20 to 25 cases in children ages three months all the way to 18 years old since April. He says the symptoms mimic another condition called the Kawasaki disease. Symptoms include fever, rash, strawberry red tongue, and abdominal pain and diarrhea. The new condition putting 10 to 15 of their cases in the ICU with some requiring ventilators. Experts at their hospital started connecting the dots and associating the symptoms with COVID-19 after seeing reports from the UK and New York. Dr. Valenti says parents have to act fast. If their child has a fever for a couple of days, they're not acting right, moaning or groaning and saying that their belly hurts, maybe they're having some diarrhea, pick up the phone and call their pediatrician. Dr. Valenti says he has sent a memo to pediatricians across the state. He says because of that the, and media attention, two patients have been admitted to the intensive care unit. Lake Willow is what people have named the flooded area just north of Willow Highway. However, even though they named it, they're not exactly fond of it. We have to drain the swamp, said Ted Hanlon, who lives across from the flooded area. The water's progressively gotten worse, and this is the worst it's ever been said Michelle Guild, another Willow Highway resident. Neighbors say it's made itself known over the last four years. Eden County's parcel map shows the 87-acre lot is owned by Unified Group LLC. The Eden County Drain Commission confirmed that there is no drain in this area, so it's up to the landowners to do something about it. Hair salons in Indiana opened on May 11th, and stylists said that they are seeing a lot of people come from Michigan. It was insane, said Leanne Snyder, the hair center owner. Indiana's stay-at-home order shut down their hair center and other salons for seven weeks. And now Snyder is seeing people drive hours just for a haircut. We've had people from Livonia, Ann Arbor, I think north of Lansing and on the north side, she said. Salons in Indiana and Ohio are requiring customers to make an appointment before they come in. People also must wear a mask during their appointment. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound MidMichigan. Everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand in our own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to help get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. From all of us here at Fox 47 News, know that we will continue to share up-to-date information about the coronavirus at fox47news.com forward slash coronavirus. We know this is an unprecedented time and that you need to know what's happening to keep you and your family safe. And we'll continue to do that on air, on our website, and on all of our social media channels. Know that we are with you through all of this. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.